Today we're talking about polynomials. Um, remember that a polynomial is in descending order. And uh, we have the highest power is going to tell us what type of polynomial it is. In this case, it's 3. So this is cubic. The next one is 2, which is quadratic, and then linear, and then constant. Uh, we do have ways we can classify a po polynomial. Uh, we have uh, the degree is 0. In other words, the exponent is 0, so it's going to be 5. It's a constant, and that's a monomial. We have the highest power here is 1. So this is linear, and it's a binomial, since there's two terms. It tells you the number of terms. This is a quadratic. So it's raised to the second power. It's one term. We have 4x cubed minus 2x squared plus x. That's a trinomial. There's three terms. And this is two terms, so it's going to be a binomial. It's a quartic. And then quintic is to the fifth power. What we're going to do is we're going to classify polynomials. So you have to write this in standard form. Standard form means that we have to have the exponent, the highest exponent first. So we have 9x squared plus 3x plus 5. This is a trinomial. And this is a quadratic. Now I did tell you in class that wherever you can simplify, you really want to simplify. So in this case, for b, we have x to the fourth. The next one, we have negative 6x squared and 10x squared, so that's going to be plus 4x squared plus 4x minus 12. So we have four terms. So it's a polynomial. And it's going to be quartic. We're going to talk about M behavior and what we noticed in our polynomial functions. If it was even, if the highest power was even, in this case it's to the fourth power, our behavior is up, up. That means that as x, as x approaches negative infinity, as x approaches approaches negative infinity, y approaches infinity. As x approaches positive infinity, y approaches infinity. Now for the other equation, it's a quadratic equation, you, you notice that as x as x approaches negative infinity, we know that y approaches negative infinity. As x approaches infinity, y approaches negative infinity. In other words, both y values are going down. In the other case, both y values are going up. They're both even. And that's the behavior of even polynomials. The end behavior is going to be either up, up, or down, down. It all depends on the sign, on the sign of the leading coefficient. In this case, the sign is positive here. And over here, the sign for the leading coefficient is negative. Now, we look at your quadratic. I mean, at your cubic function, here it's odd. It's to the third power. So this is odd. And the in behavior, as x approaches negative infinity, y approaches negative infinity. As x approaches infinity, y approaches positive infinity. In other words, we say the behavior is down, or the y value is going down and then the y value goes up. And the leading coefficient is positive. In contrast, 
it is odd, but you notice as x approaches negative infinity, y approaches infinity, approaches infinity, y approaches negative infinity. And so the end behavior is up, down. This is the end behavior. This is the end behavior. And we notice that the sign for the leading coefficient is negative. So what it's doing is reflecting over the x-axis. So problem two, it says consider the leading term of the polynomial function. What is the end behavior of the graph? Well, this is cubic. It's odd. So the end behavior should be down and then up. In this case, the leading coefficient is positive. Now, if you wanted to check this, you can check this with your graphing calculator. This one is quartic. Um, it is even. The end behavior for this one is going to be down, down, y. Because the leading coefficient is negative. So what's happening here is that the function is being reflected over the x-axis. Problem three, graphing cubic functions. What is the graph of each cubic function? Describe the graph, including end behavior, turning points, and increasing and decreasing intervals. Uh, we have a cubic function, and this one behaves from left to right. You notice that it's increasing throughout the whole interval. And when I say interval, I mean from negative infinity to positive infinity. We notice here are the points, negative 2, negative 4, negative 1, negative 0 0.5, 0, 0, 1.5, and 2, 4. There are no turning points because there's no change in direction. It's just increasing throughout the whole graph. But the end behavior is down. In other words, the y value goes down as I go to the left as I get into x approaches negative infinity. As x approaches positive infinity, the y values go up. In contrast to example b, you notice that it has, it, it, it's, it's a reflection over the x-axis because of this, of this value right here, negative x cubed. These points are turning points because it goes down, and then it goes up, and then it goes down. And so the end behavior is going to be down and then up, and when x is less than negative 1, it increases. As x is greater than negative 1, it increases. And then it decreases.